All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we're having a look at yet another wonderful mod, this time in the form of Solar Science, which is being made by forum user Snoopy20111. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is two lovely new pieces of scientific instrumentation, which are actually based off of two different real-world experiments currently examining our own sun, and these are the Soho and Stereo spacecraft, and that really quite interested me about this mod, so let's just jump right on into the VAB and have a look at, once again, the two different parts that make it up. Now let's grab, uh, what the heck, the Mark 1-2 command pod for size comparison's sake, especially for one of the experiments, it's quite small, so it'll really show off how tiny it is, then zoom in, and also pan this way to show off one of the glorious flags that comes with this mod. Praise the sun, folks. It's wonderful. Normally, I honestly really could care less about the flags that come with mods. They always do. Almost always, at least. But this one, this one made me laugh. I like it. Praise the sun. And then, of course, for the actual experiments for this mod, let's go down to science, where we will find both of them. The first of which is the KMI, which, if we, uh, you know, take a look at its stats there, is a magneto sphere image experiment so it will take some pictures of the magnetosphere of the sun a lovely little experiment and also the tiny one that i mentioned if we pop it on here you can see just how tiny this little thing is it's a pretty well made mod or not mod but model though considering its size it's uh, you know a box so fairly simplistic has the little camera lens but i do like the extra attention to detail about adding this extra rounded black bit here adds some nice contrast to it which just makes it uh, look a little bit better and you'll notice we got a little line here that is holding up a lens cap which when you actually deploy the experiment the lens cap pops off as it just did there and then it takes the magnetosphere image and BAM you have science so that is the KMI experiment a tiny little thing but a very fun and usable experiment to have on any of your ships and quite uh, quite good for fitting onto a smaller probe that you might be sending towards the Sun so good to have the second experiment is the stereo and this this is the opposite of tiny. This thing is freaking gigantic. Uh, yes, that's the way we need to have it. And again, a very beautiful detail to it. Not exactly the most complicated model in the world, though of course, much, much more complicated than this one. But overall, very simplistic, but very well done, and has a lot of small little details everywhere that I quite like. We've got the nice little warning tape thing here. Got the wires going in, and of course, just like the KMI, if we deploy it, the different lenses on the camera open up. Now, as for this one's experiment, it just takes pictures of the sun, but are, you know, sciency pictures. And it's wonderful. So, yeah, that's really it for the two parts. Pretty, <laughs> pretty glorious little things. And, of course, pretty simple to go through. Just two easy parts that you can throw onto any of your missions that might be going towards the sun for you to grab a little bit extra science. And depending on the size of your probe will determine most likely which of the two that you choose. For a smaller probe, you go with the KMI. For a much more larger, more substantial one, you'll go with the stereo. Now, as for how to actually use them, let's leave the VAB and head over to the tracking station where I have a uh, lovely little probe in orbit around Moho because I wanted to show off one of the things about this mod. You actually have to be orbiting the sun. Now, we're around Moho, which is the closest planet you can actually get to the sun, and if we do try to, say, take an image here on the stereo, you'll see we cannot because it operates, let's bring that back up again, closely around Kerbal, so we have to be actually around the sun itself. And it's the same deal with the tiny little one over here, the KMI. If we click that, it has to be around the sun. And yeah, so you actually have to get yourself into an orbit around that rather than a planet somewhere in the solar system. So if we get out our trusty hyper edit and go to orbit editor, 
and go to sun and then let's see let's get as close as i've been able to safely get to the sun to show off the experiment first because we're actually going to do it at two different altitudes because frankly it the if you're really close to the sun it amuses me what comes up for the images so let's go one million oh wait did i type that in right hold on one zero 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 there we go and excellent. That's as close as this probe can get to the sun without the solar panels blowing up. So let's just orientate ourselves actually towards said sun. There we go. Lovely. Close this, because, well, we don't need hyper edit quite yet. And then go back to our lovely cameras. We'll start over here with the stereo, and if we take the picture... We will be brought up at the science screen, which of course is too close, too close, too close. <laughs> and that amuses me. So this is actually too close to the sun for these experiments to be useful. If you go farther back, they'll actually have useful data. And if you were in a science save, you would still get some science points for this, but you'll get more science points for the optimal sort of area that you want to be in. But I love that. It's just too close, too close, too close. Oh God. So let's reset that experiment and go down to the KMI one and take a magnetosphere image which again pops up with hey what's that thing it's really close and bright oh my god it's the sun <laughs> again it amuses me which is why I like this thing so let's reset that image and go a bit further back from the sun to a more sensible distance from it and go to orbit editor editor and we'll change this to 200 in or 2.5 billion there we go lovely and let's try the stereo one yet again and excellent we get a much more sensible bit of science from it the units collectively spit out a bunch of multicolored images of a really bright orb none of them are the color of kerbal you think the pictures box or oh god i can talk today you think the picture box broke but mission control assures you that only happens 65 percent of the time <laughs> <laughs> and this is the good response, that it fails 65% of the time, but still wonderful. And let's go for the KMI experiment. And again, its lovely bit pops up here. And you gaze at the wondrous body while the unit spits out a bunch of pictures you don't understand. Maybe the eggheads will understand. Not as hilarious as the others, but still a lovely, wonderful bit of science. And who who doesn't want extra science in their missions? And so yeah, that's uh that's really all there is to this mod. It is scientific experiments designed to observe the sun and that to me is just wonderful so if you would like to check out this mod for yourself you can take a look at the link in the description as always and i would definitely suggest you do they're fun little bits of science and if you're running a career mode you can never have too much science so go have fun with it make some probes put them around the sun and hopefully don't get too close where they burn out the lenses or something but yes that's going to be it for today folks i hope you all have enjoyed and of course that you do come back for the next episode when we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod but until that time thank you for watching and as always my friends have a good one